Question. How come we don't have spaghetti anymore? You know, I used to love it when you mixed everything into it. Oh, the mushrooms, onions, and olives. <laughs> I got another question. Why are you putting the pork chops in the bookcase? <laughs> oh, silly me. <laughs> My mind must be wandering. Jessica, you haven't slept in two days. Your mind's not wandering. It's lost in space. <laughs> I'm fine, Rob. I only have one last exam to study for, and then I can get all the sleep that I need. I'm okay. Really, I am. Uh, Jessica, at the supermarket today, you were squeezing the milk to see if it was ripe. Oh, don't be silly, Rob. I told you, I'm okay. Hey, everybody, guess what? I did it. I got it. I won. Heidi, Erica, and I just got picked to represent Bayside School in the semifinals of the Brain Bowl. Oh, that's it? The way you were talking, I thought Ed McMahon had handed you the million dollars. Cindy, congratulations. The Brain Bowl has been one of my favorite TV shows forever and ever, and it's a real honor that you were chosen to be on it. What? To be on a quiz show with a bunch of other little nerds? Robbie, mm. only the smartest kids in the world get to be on that show. Which lets you out, dwarf brain. <laughs> Jess, will you help me steady up a little? You know, ask me some questions and stuff. The semifinals are in three days. Three days? Oh, that's when my next exam is. Oh, no, no, I, I don't have enough time. Oh, that's okay. Win or lose, it'll be a lot of fun anyway. A fun? Answering a lot of questions about history, geography, and math? I don't know, I'd rather go to the junior prom with Blimpo Berkowitz. And he's a guy. <laughs> See ya. Oh, well, who wants to go to Los Angeles anyways? Did you say Los Angeles? Uh-huh. If we make it past the semifinals, the show will take us and our families to Los Angeles for the finals. All expenses paid. Los Angeles? Hollywood? Malibu! Oh, my gosh, the home of the original Surfer Girls. <laughs> hey, Cindy, um, you know, since Jessica doesn't have the time, why don't I act as your coach? Hey, I've got a better idea. Yeah. Why don't I go kiss a hot waffle iron? <laughs> Cindy, Cindy, look, if you get me to L.A., I'll prepare you so that there's nothing, no subject under the sun that you won't have the answer to. Uh... Hey, come on, if we work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish if we put our minds to it. I don't know. Jess, what do you think I... Jessica? Oh, uh, no problem, Cindy. Jessica, I thought I told you. Frozen turkeys make lousy pillows. <laughs> Jessica. 
You know, if you have to hold the book that close, maybe you need glasses. No. No, no, Sandy. It's just that I've been up for the past three nights studying, and I'm falling a feet on my sleep. <laughs> but the kids should be home from school any minute to relieve me. So, what can I get you, Sandy? Oh, well, how about a single dip of pistachio nut marble fudge ripple swirl? Coming right up. Hey, Sandy. Oh, did you hear the great news? I sure did. How about that? Sergeant Malkovich is finally retiring and moving down to Florida. I was talking about Cindy. Cindy's retiring? Isn't she a little young? Where's Jessica? I need to speak to an Earth person. Well, she was here just a minute ago. She was fixing my cone. Sandy, I guess I dozed off again. Here's your ice cream. Sorry it melted a little bit. That's okay. Okay, Cindy, here's a geology question. All right, what are the three different kinds of rocks? Oh, even I know that one. Diamonds, rubies, and emeralds. The three kinds of rocks are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Are you sure? I've never seen those in the Tiffany catalog. Next question. Okay, if, uh... Robbie, oh, will you please lighten up on these questions? Okay, so I said you could help me a little bit, but you've been following me around all day, every second. Oh, now, come on, Cindy, don't exaggerate. <laughs> Robbie, they threw you out of the girls' restroom. <laughs> come on, Robbie, I'm tired. I need a break. Break? Oh... Oh, I'd love one. Robbie, Cindy, take over the store. I'm gonna go upstairs and study. Bye. Have fun. Oh, yeah, we will. We will. Okay, Cindy. Ah, okay, what's the significance of the Taft-Hartley Labor Act of 1947? Robbie, did you hear what she said? Have fun. Oh, with you bugging me all the time, I am not having fun. Well, excuse me. What do you want me to do? Tap dance every time I ask you a question? Well, come on, Cindy. Look, if you want to win this brain bowl thing, you got to get down and get serious. Well, Cindy, you're going to be on the brain bowl? Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Thanks, Cindy. You know, I can understand you being bugged by Robbie asking all these questions. Hey, now, wait a minute. You see, Cindy, I believe your brain should be relaxed. Really? Yep. My way to total victory would be to approach this contest more from the physical side than from the mental. What do you mean? I mean this. That brilliant brain of yours sits on a body. As opposed to yours, which sits on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I oh, couldn't I'm resist. So now listen and listen hard. If your body is tough and in tip-top shape, then more blood and oxygen can get to your brain. But, Sandy, I'm in fine shape. I exercise every day. Cindy, I'm talking about Brain Bowl Boot Camp. Just remember, any time I yell, hit the deck, you drop to the floor and give me 30 push-ups. Oh. <laughs> Cindy, honey, don't pay any attention to either of them. You just go on that show and have a good time. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Thanks, Susie. I think I agree with you. You know, a few years ago, my cousin Andrea got to be on the Brain Bowl. She felt the same way about it you do. Just went to have a good time. Yeah? How'd she do? You mean before or after her nervous breakdown? <laughs> well, Andrea had some problems on the show. What kind of problems? She missed every question they asked her. <laughs> Went 0 for 7. Wow. I guess she must have been pretty upset. Uh, upset? The very last question, she went completely blank. She had no idea what the answer was. She had to just sit there and stare into those TV cameras until finally she began sobbing uncontrollably from the humiliation. She spent the next 18 months in the state home for the bewildered. <laughs> Thanks, Susie. <laughs> that just cheered me right up. Hey, Cindy. I heard the news. Oh. Congratulations. Thanks, Lucas. <laughs> I suppose you have some advice to give me, too. Advice? Heck no. Quiz shows aren't my forte. I don't like answering questions any more complicated than anybody in there. <laughs> well, that's nice.
Thanks for a change. <laughs> I can't mind telling you, though. I'm going to get a big thrill out of seeing that pretty little face of yours up there on TV. <laughs> well, thanks, Lucas. That made me feel a lot better. And it will warm the cockles of my heart to see you wipe up the floor with those dink brains from the other team. Dink brains? Yeah, Cindy. The only way to win, the only path to true victory is show them no mercy. Go for the throat. <laughs> Lucas, I don't think that's me. Cindy, listen up. This isn't an ordinary quiz show. This is TV war. TV war? That's right, soldier. And your battle cry better be kill, kill, kill. Hey, hey, Lucas, you know, between you and Sandy, I'll bet we could really whip old Cindy into shape. Yeah. Hey, yeah. they'll call you the teenage Terminator. <laughs> now, ah, forget it, guys. I, for one, have complete faith that Cindy's not going to blow it in front of her family and friends and millions of TV viewers everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what harm could a few push ups do? Cindy, hit the deck. Remember, kid, go for the juggler. Tear their little hearts out. Yeah, now, Cindy, next question. How many seats are there in the House of Representatives? You're crazy. You're all crazy. Is this what you call fun? Well, I don't. And there's no way I'm going on that show, because I quit. Mm. You've been in there all day. You know, we're not going to get any work done. I don't care. You know what? This rate will never get to L.A. I don't care. Michael J. Fox lives in L.A. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, I don't get it. She's got the opportunity of a lifetime, and she's blowing it. How'd you like the spaghetti, Rob? What spaghetti? The spaghetti I made for dinner. <laughs> Jess, we had pork chops for dinner. What, don't you remember? Oh. No wonder I couldn't wrap it around my fork. <laughs> Jessica, come on, come on. Go, go get some sleep. You're getting dangerous. Rob, I'm fine. Let's drop it. Did you get the phone, please? <laughs> Hi, Robbie. Hey, Lucas. Hey, Hi, Cindy. Jessica. Where's Cindy? Oh, little Miss Temper Tantrum. She's locked herself in her room all day. Cindy locked in her room? When did this happen? Where was I? Somewhere in another galaxy far, far away. <laughs> you know, Jess, we got to thinking maybe we were a little hard on Cindy this afternoon and turned her off to competing. Yeah, so we thought if we came over here and we all played the Brain Bowl game and showed her how much fun it was, she'd change her mind. That's a great idea. Terrific. Uh, give me a hand here. Okay. That's it. Swing that couch around. Robbie, okay. grab a couple oh. of chairs. Right? Okay. Put them over here. That's the ticket. Okay. I'll go get Cindy. Anyone know where she is? <laughs> Never mind. I heard what you all said, but I don't want to play. Oh, come on, Cindy. We're all really sorry. No, I don't want to. Come on. Hey, no pressure. Yeah, we promise. No, I don't want to. Oh, come on. You can be team captain. OK, you can be the other team captain. OK, <laughs> let's pick. Hmm. Not much of a choice. Three turkeys and a vegetable. <laughs> hey, wait, you promised if I played, I'd get to be the MC. Make that two turkeys, a vegetable, and a ham. <laughs> I guess I'll pick, um, Robbie. Oh, excellent choice. Well, then that leaves me with Jessica or Lucas. Oh, wow! Look at that! I put on two different shoes this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> so who gets Jessica? I'll take her. <laughs> Why don't we just put you someplace you won't get hurt? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Brain Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I'm your host, Sandy Branch. 
it, Sean? <laughs> applause, applause, applause. Now, I have here in my hand the official Brain Bowl game. And from it, I'll be asking the questions. But first, let's say hello to and meet our contestants. <laughs> hello, darling. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here, Richard. I love Richard. <laughs> And who's this little sweet face over here? Hi, my name is Cindy Stewart, and my hobbies are reading and collecting autographs. Oh, would you like mine? No. <laughs> don't even think it. Hey, hey, Sandy, can't we get on with the game? Why don't we get on with the game? Yeah. Now, you all remember the rules. I'll be asking you a question ranging from the easy baby brain to the harder brain tickler, right up to the toughest, the brain breaker. And remember, if you don't know an answer, you can always bluff. <laughs> we got it, we got it. Get started already. Well, Susie, let's start with you. Okay. Oh, all right, Susie, let's go. Okay, I'll take a brain tickler. Okay, here it is. We all know that there are nine planets in our solar system. I didn't know that. <laughs> but which one is furthest from the sun? Pluto. Correct, 10.3 oh, right. Mickey Mouse's dog. Mickey Mouse! Oh, he's a mouse! B black ears, three fingers, Disneyland! Did I win? <laughs> this is kind of fun. Okay, Sandy, you can ask me one. I'll take a brain breaker. Oh, okay, little lady. Brain breaker it is. Worth 15 points. And remember, no help from the audience. The question is, what is NACL? Knackle? Knackle! Change for a dime. N-A-C-L is the chemical formula for table salt? Absolutely correct! <laughs> now, Robbie, in order to keep your team in this round, you're going to have to answer a brain breaker. Why, why, why can't I have a baby brain? I know, I know. Because you've got one already. All right. Oh, okay, you just wait till you get up here, oh, wizard of squid. Okay, hit, hit me with it, Sandy. From the world of sports. Oh, good. Who was the first major league pitcher ever to pitch back-to-back no-hitters? Oh, that's easy. It was uh, Sandy Koufax, L.A. Dodgers, 1961. Aha! Uh -huh. Wise guy, now I got you. I'm calling your bluff. I happen to know it was Johnny Vandermeer, Cincinnati Reds, 1938. It was Koufax. It was Vandermeer. Koufax. Come on, Sandy, read what's on the card. I can't. Right. Looks like my parakeet chewed off the answer. Oh. oh, come on, Sandy. If you had a damage game, why didn't you tell me so I could bring mine? Hey, don't blame me. This wasn't my idea. I wanted to play Candyland. <laughs> Well, that's it. I'm right. We win. The game's over. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no, you don't. Not until we get an official answer. Yeah. All right, here's your official answer. <laughs> I think you're both being very immature. Oh, but Susie, I know that. Especially the since neither one of you has answered a question correctly like I have. Oh, whoa. Listen to Miss Einstein on a lifeguard stand. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I think she wants us to stop. I want you to go. I'm tired of listening to all of you guys. Whatever gave you the idea that this would be fun? Well, I'm sorry. I quit. Again. Nice work, Robbie. Yeah. yeah. What, me? Oh, all right, all right. I'm out of here. I quit. Well, there's no point in hanging around here. Well, let's go home. Since when do you have a parakeet? I don't. This one broke in. <laughs> oh, boy, I feel great! I must have slept for 12 hours. <laughs> but I thought you were going to stay up all night studying. I was, but I guess I dozed off. <laughs> Aren't you worried about your test? Nope, not anymore. Cindy? For the past three days, I have been killing myself. I can't remember one moment of fun. But I thought you said that this test was really important to you. Oh, it is. But this morning I realized that it's not a matter of life or death. Cindy, 
There are times to work, times to play, and times to let go. Well, honey, I'm letting go. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely. Cindy, if you can't get a little enjoyment out of it, then it's not worth doing. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Jess. <laughs> thanks a lot for the advice. Advice? What advice? Well, you just helped me make up my mind. I'm gonna go to the Brain Bowl, and I'm gonna have fun. You're going on the Brain Bowl? Oh, honey, congratulations! <laughs> Good luck on your test. You're gonna need it. <laughs> can't stand the tension. The semifinal should be over by now. No matter what, I just hope she didn't humiliate herself. <laughs> hey, well, who cares? As long as she gets me to L.A. <laughs> hey, oh, great, Cindy, Jessica, how'd it go? Cindy did great. Oh, L.A., I'm on my way. Give us the details, Cindy. Yeah. Well, it was the last question, and we were all tied up, and it was our turn to answer. Yeah? Yeah, well, what was the question? Who was the first Major League pitcher to pitch back-to-back -back no hitters? Oh, it was Johnny Vandermeer, right? No, it was Sandy Koufax, right? Hey, it was Johnny Vandermeer. <laughs> See, so you won. Not exactly. Heidi Jensen pushed her button first and answered Sandy Koufax. <laughs> well, so I coached her a little. <laughs>
so long, it's a little hard to remember. How could anyone forget something as exciting as their first day in junior high school? Easily. <laughs> oh, just ignore him, Cindy. I think your enthusiasm is great. Seems like only yesterday you were in elementary school, and tomorrow you become the third steward to enter Millard Fillmore Junior Senior High. Oh, I'm so excited, I can hardly wait. I know exactly what you mean. I felt the same way. How can you both love school so much? Yeah, you know, sometimes I wonder if I was adopted. If it was, you think it's too late to send him back? Forget it. He came with a tag marked, no refunds or exchanges. Too bad. All right, Jess. Here you go. One container of September surprise. Oh, what's the surprise this month? Vanilla. <laughs> Vanilla? Is that the best you could come up with? Hey, what can I say? I'm depressed. <laughs> Robbie, school starting is not the end of the world. Yeah, well, it might as well be. It is the end of the summer. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are we all this beautiful summer morning? Oh. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Robbie, why not be positive? Why not think of this as a terrific new beginning? What's so terrific about it? Well, as of right now, you haven't uh, overslept, flunked a test, or been sent to the principal's office. Hey, Jess, you might have a point there. I mean, yeah, this might be the, the last time this year that my record's totally blank. And speaking of total blanks... Hi, everyone! Oops! Oh! Oh! <laughs> now I'm gonna have to type it all over again. Sandy, what is all this stuff? It's a paper I wrote in junior college for phys ed class. Facts and fictions about the squat jump? Yeah. But my master thesis was going to be sweat. Nature's little way of saying that you smell. <laughs> no wonder you dropped out of college. Yeah, but I'm going to re-enroll. Getting my diploma might help me become a desk sergeant. You have a better chance of becoming a desk. Oh, come on, Lucas. I think it's great that Sandy wants to continue his education. No, some education. In my day, we were taught the three R's. Reading and writing and... Rambling. <laughs> Anyway, whatever it was, we knew it. Kids were smarter then. Oh, Lucas, they weren't smarter. They were just left stuff to know. <laughs> How do you figure that? Oh, come on, Lucas. I mean, I have to memorize the names of 50 states. Now, when you were young, what were there? 13, 14 max? <laughs> How would you like to visit the state of unconsciousness? <laughs> Hi, everybody. What's that? It can't be schoolwork. Uh, school hasn't opened yet. No, it's my new executive appointment book. It's got a place for everything. My money, my credit cards, my driver's license. Oh, that ought to come in handy. Now that I'm starting junior high, my schedule's gonna be a lot more complicated. Wanna hear? Sure. Okie doke. Monday, 8 o'clock, go to school. 12 o'clock, lunch. Mm -hmm. 3.30, go home. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, see Monday. And Wednesday... Hey, we got it. We got it. <laughs> well, now if you all excuse me, I have an important business meeting to attend. <laughs> yeah? Who's it with? Lee Iacocca? Oh, no. <laughs> it's with Heidi Jensen. I'm eating Lee for lunch. <laughs> All right, just a little mood music for your last meal as a free woman. Robbie, not everybody thinks of school as a prison. Cindy, 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 come here. Cindy, sit down. Look, you've, you've been in elementary school. Now, that's like a trip to the petting zoo. Tomorrow, they're gonna throw you into the lion's cage. Can't be that bad. Oh, yeah? You just better hope you don't get killer crabs for homeroom. Why? 